Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to create content for social media. It's a very easy process and depending on which social media platform you want to create content for, you simply just have to tell it. Let's get right on into it and not waste any time. Starting off first, let's say with Facebook. Let's pretend you're in a Facebook group, whether you have your own Facebook group or someone else's, and you want to provide a valuable post so that people will understand you know what you're talking about. Hopefully that's the case and you're not using this to be like, oh, I've done all this before and you've done nothing, which a lot of people do, unfortunately. It's very annoying. With that in mind, allow me to show you what you can put as a prompt to create some type of content. All right, so here I am. Create a few paragraphs for a Facebook group talking about the value of using sales funnels for affiliate marketers. The first thing that came to my mind when it was Facebook groups is the ClickFunnels group. There's so many people just like posting stuff in there all the time. And uh, that's just what came to mind. So this is something that usually comes up, sales funnels, affiliate marketers. Let's hit enter and see what we get. Not bad at all. So ironically enough, we had more than a few paragraphs. It talks about how they're uh, used to increase your revenue, a big benefit of it. Another advantage is tracking and analyzing customer behavior, uh, tracking performance. Uh, they can be overall very highly effective. So pretty good. And if we want, what we can do is break this down even more. I'm just going to do this for this one. Keep in mind, anytime you create content with ChatGPT, you can have it create more or carry on with a specific section. I'll show you right here. Okay, so if but more specifically, give me three ways an affiliate marketer can increase their sales using a sales funnel. Let's see what we get. All right, so we have three different reasons here. Uh, one is going to be segmentation. Uh, without actually reading that, I can tell you like segmentation can be separating uh, leads from actual buyers, which you can do even if you don't own a specific product. There's plenty of ways to do that. A-B testing, obviously, if you have a landing page, you want to see which one gets more opt-ins. And more importantly, once they opt in, like which sales letter or which pre-sale page or which bonuses are allowing you to increase your sales or get the maximum sales. Tracking performance, this can be kind of similar to A-B testing, but I will keep this there. It's been there for a little while in case you want to pause it and read it. So that's one example with Facebook. You could also do a Facebook post. So let's just do that now. All right. So I put write a quick Facebook post talking about how excited you are to start affiliate marketing. If only we saw more posts like that. Every post is like, I just made all this money, blah, blah, blah in two seconds. Anyway, let's click on enter and see what we get. Okay, so pretty good. Talking about being excited to announce it. Uh, I can't wait to learn about the industry and earning commissions through promoting products I believe in. I'm determined to succeed. Who else is in affiliate marketing is into it and has some tips to share. Let's connect. So pretty good. Let's go to new chat and let's change the social media channel. Let's say LinkedIn. LinkedIn's a popular one. Give me one second. All right, so write a LinkedIn post talking about how you'd like to interview an online business owner who has recently seen some great results from their YouTube channel. Let's go. All right, so excited to announce that I'll be interviewing an online business owner who has recently seen some great results from their YouTube channel. Uh, they found success by leveraging the power of video content to grow their brand and drive sales. I'm looking forward to learning more about their strategy and insights and so on and so forth. Okay, so this is from the perspective that they've already found one. You can also write it, uh, let's see, how you'd like to interview. So this is on me, I'd say, because I put how I'd like to interview someone. I think if I put I'm looking to interview someone, you know, if anyone knows, leave a message, that would be a way of changing that around. This is something I always talk about. The input is usually going to equal the output. If you're not getting the output that you want, just change it around. In fact, I'll give you an example. We'll change it around to hopefully get some better results. All right. So I put write a LinkedIn post that talks about needing someone to interview for my podcast. This person must have some recent great results from their YouTube channel, and they also need to be able to talk about their process. They can message me or leave a comment if interested. So completely different way of saying that. I did talk about how I'd like to interview someone, but that could also come off as being just excited about it. So this I think is a little bit more clear. Let's see what we get. All right, perfect. And as it's going, I'm just going to start talking while it's rambling on. So calling all online business owners. I'm looking for someone to interview on my podcast who has recently seen great results from their YouTube channel. I want to hear all about your process and strategy for leveraging the power of video content to drive sales and grow your brand. If you're interested, uh, message me, leave a comment. I'm excited to hear from you. Perfect. Exactly what I talked about. I'm glad it actually came up that way. Otherwise, it would have defeated the purpose of talking about the input and the output. Let's do one last one. So, so there are plenty more like TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. In fact, let's go with Twitter and let's do five tweets about... All right, so write five different tweets about tips for growing your online business in the new year. Let's hit enter. 
All right, and there we go. There's our five different tweets. So you can start it off strong by setting clear goals for your online business, creating a plan. Don't underestimate the power of social media in growing your online business, utilizing platforms like Instagram, Instagram and Facebook. Uh, invest in SEO to increase your website's visibility. Engage with your customers. And stay ahead of the competition by keeping an eye on industry trends and adapting your online business strategy accordingly. So there we are, five different tweets about growing your business. Like I said, you can go on and on and on when you have a specific social media platform in mind. Keep in mind, it's very easy to use ChatGPT for creating content. More specifically, this is going to be social media related. You can create content for anywhere you want, but I just wanted to talk about social media platforms a little more just because I know they are very popular. I hope you got some value from this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.